hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha so if you guys remember i did a tutorial on creating classical facade design in revit recently now i thought about adding some more tutorials to this topic on my channel and i'm going to be doing three more videos on this topic so in this first video i'm going to be sharing with you some tips about creating uh, grooves quickly and easily in revit but before i get started i would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my advanced revit courses as well as you can check out my patreon to get all my revit project files now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project i actually created this basic house model for this tutorial if you want to follow along with this video you can just uh, get this project file from my patreon or you can just download the reference images for free from my website cadnates.com and just model this house and uh, follow along with this tutorial anyway the first tip which i want to share with you here is about creating the grooves so you guys know that to create the grooves we use wall reveal so in this video also i'm going to be using wall reveal but uh, i will be sharing with you a tip to create the wall reveals quickly and easily on this house here so first let's create a profile for the the group so let's go to file new family let's go to english imperial or i want to use a metric one so i will just go back here and go to english folder here now we need to look for the metric profile template here we have it let's open this up now let's draw the sketch for the profile We'll just draw a rectangle here and select this line and make it 25 millimeters or one inch and here also repeat the same 25 millimeters then we can just select this rectangle and just take it to the center here now let's save this uh, family let's call it groove profile click save and just load this into the project now we can just go here and select wall reveal then edit type duplicate let's call it wall grove okay and here in the profile we need to choose the one which we have just created here we have it groove profile let's select that click ok now let's say we want to create these grooves from this floor until uh, the parapet here so it will take a lot of time to add these grooves one by one now i will show you how you can quickly and easily create these grooves on all these walls so let's delete this one and i'm going to create a new one again wall reveal and let's add this reveal to all these walls here So once you do that you can just go to any of the elevations here so we'll go to south elevation and we can just select this groove and just move it to the floor because we want to give an accurate measurement from this floor so first let's place it on the floor and then move again it will be 30 centimeters so I'll put 0.3 meter 0.30 enter now we can do uh, a vertical array here and that was the trick i was talking about so the groove is already selected you can just go here and select array and make sure linear array is selected and move to second is selected here now let's click this floor and then uh, just zoom in and click on this profile here now it will ask us to put the number of elements so let's try 25 there you go okay so still we are missing some grooves here so we can just increase the numbers here let's try 28 perfect now let's go to 3d and there you go we created the grooves on all these uh, walls here until this parapet but if you notice uh, the grooves are not created on some of these walls here the reason for that is uh, this wall is a little extended from this one as you can see here so to fix that we can just select this groove and edit group 
now we can add the grooves here so let's go to wall wall reveal and add one here and let's add another one here and at the back here as well now let's click finish since it was a group it will update all the other grooves as well there you go the grooves are now created on all these walls here so that's all i wanted to share with you in this video and the next two videos are also about classical architecture modeling in revit so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my patreon to get all my revit project files and yeah i will see you guys in the next video